Well, friends, are you ready for some hockey? I know I am. This week is jam-packed with hockey. Oh, my goodness. I'm here with Dr. Peter Freital and also co-founder of Pulse 3. Thank you so much for being here. Eric Olgard from The Spirit stopped by to give us a heads up of what's going on. So I love it because how are you both doing, first of all? Very Excellent. well. Thank Thanks you. for having us. I am so glad you're here. We, you know I love to talk about hockey, so I can talk about hockey all day long. My son has a big hockey weekend, too, so it's all about hockey for us. That's awesome. So I love about the Shocks and Saves game this Saturday, which is exciting, and it's all about, and you're skating with Red Wings alumni. That's you know, correct. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, so, you know, this initiated 15 years ago. We've been doing this now for 15 long years, which is great and initiated off an encounter that I had with Yuri Fisher, who, as you know, was a sudden cardiac arrest survivor, happened on the ice yes. during a hockey game with the Red Wings. Um, and he and I happened to meet up after that at the time that our foundation was looking at trying to do something to make things better for our community in right. terms of cardiovascular health. The foundation's goals are living, le learning, and life-saving. And so we came up with this charity hockey game uh, and it's been going strong ever since. It's such a great idea. And you have some special players. Can you name any of the? So for this year, we're going to have Yuri Fisher again. He's Yay! been there all the time. Yeah. John Agrodnik, uh, who has been coming to this game now for almost the whole time That's and has great. been a great supporter of it. We have Darian Hatcher, yeah. another Red Wing player. Uh, we have Jason Woolley, uh, and then we have Brent McLean, who wasn't a Red Wing. He was a standout in the OHL and then played with Phoenix uh, and was another sudden cardiac arrest survivor. So we have uh, some great representation yes. of the good players, uh, yeah. as well as a, a great message to get out. Okay, doctor, are you ready to, to go head to head with them? Are you? I, I am <laughs> all of your healthcare workers ready to go? You've practiced up at all? No, not at all, <laughs> yeah. but they're ready to go anyway. Okay, I love it. It's for a good cause. You're raising money to battle heart disease. Yeah. You know, why would you say this is so important? I know heart disease is a silent killer, doctor. Yeah. So, and recognize that the um, obviously heart disease is the number one killer of people yes. in this country. Yes. Uh, Sudden cardiac arrest, which is a form of it, is enormously impactful. There's more than 350,000 people each year okay. that suffer from sudden cardiac arrest, which is 1,000 people a day. Right. So it, that's an enormous impact. Uh, the best way to counteract that is education, education, getting people available to know how to do CPR if it happens, have AEDs around and available. So we can do things as a community, and we have. the. Yeah. The foundation event, the Shocks and Saves event, yes. has put in over 300 AEDs in the area and saved more than 12 lives. So thank you for everybody that supported yes. it, and please continue to do so. And thank you for what you do. We appreciate that. And that's what the proceeds are going to, to help save more lives. We love it. So what's going on? You've got to tell us in the Budweiser room and during intermission, some fun things? Yes, most definitely. So uh, the uh, Gates will open to the fans at 3 p.m. The Shocks and Saves game will start at 4. Okay. And your ticket to the Spirit game will get you into both games uh, um, tomorrow night. Oh, my gosh. And then uh, after the, the Shocks and Saves game, uh, we'll have programming continue with uh, Yuri Fisher and okay. uh, local doctors and uh, survivors. And then also some CPR training and uh, a lot of resources in the Red Room. You're doing all of that. That is amazing. So. Just a reminder, friends, Shocks and Saves, that game starts at 4. The doors open at 3. And the Saginaw Spirit are taking on the Sarnia Sting. Puck drops at 7.05. For that, that and tickets correct. are still available, too, Tickets are everything? still available. Okay. You can visit SaginawSpirit.com or also the box office tomorrow night. Okay, and I also, after, let's also talk about Sunday. You have a big game, too. You have another, it's Pride Night. It is, yes, absolutely. We have Pride Night. We're going to be wearing some uh, special warm-up jerseys that were specially oh. designed and are going to be auctioned off after the game. So uh, two wonderful games yes. and uh, some fan favorites. Yeah, and on Sunday, it's 5.30, the puck drops, and you're taking on the Barry Colts. Okay, there's just one thing left to say, guys, and I think you know what that is. Go, Go Spirit. spirit. That, you see that I'm dressed in my spirit clothes Perfect today. Colors. That's right. Well, thank you both for doing this. It's such a great yeah. cause. Shocks and says, please go out and, and support this cause. Thank you both for stopping by. We appreciate it. Thank if you. you have any ideas on what you would like to see on our show, you can send them to us at WNEM. Dash 4 p.m. news at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4 p.m. news spotlight.